Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 35 of Build HMS Victory. Okay, so when I finished off the last video, I'd finished off all the uh, the windows on the on the ward room. I'd added the trims and all the window dividers. So now it's time to start working his way back up the gallery. Okay, since the uh, end of the last video, I've already started to add the windows and the extra planking, and I've trimmed it off down the sides. Obviously, then need trimming. If you want to see me do that, if you just watched last video, then you can see me fit the windows and the planking. But obviously, I didn't want to keep showing you the same thing, so that's why I've done that off cam this time. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I want to add this this bottom uh, like trim window ledge. So what I've done first off, I've just added little 10 mil spacers and I've pre-pinned my pins ready. So obviously, once I put the uh, the deck trim trim on, I can just push it and hold it in place. I left it over long. I can just trim it off after. So all I'm doing now is I'm just going to rest that trim onto that spacer, and then just push these little pins in. Okay, so when the glue's drying on the first bit of trim up on, I'll just put some pins just above the second window. And this is just going to sit the second trim on, and we can curve it around to them pins. I'm going to leave it over length, and I'm just going to trim it. a little bit of glue down the seam line and then just wash off the excess Okay, so I've just had a little bit more trim either side just to bring out the windows. So obviously, while the glue dries on these mouldings, I'm going to start and just fill out the rest of the gallery in some extra planking. If you notice, I've actually raised mine up slightly. That's about four mil higher because I knew I was going to be raising up all the uh, the windows and making them larger with the trim. So yeah, so that's what happened with mine. I actually brought my poop deck up slightly about four mil he only added four mil to the gallery Okay, so I'm just gluing in three extra planks. Well, now I'm just going to draw a little taper line.
just so I can make sure I've left enough hanging over. Okay, so what I glue's been drying on this section here, I've just filled in all the windows with the wind dividers. Exactly the same as I did in the last video, so if you want to watch me do that, just check the last video. But anyway, now the glue's drying, let's pull all these pins out. Okay, so from the picture I'm working to, this top trim runs in line with this, this edge of the window ledge. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to trim these two edges off. Just do the same on the other side. So that's a moulding trimmed. Okay, so I've just trimmed down this uh, window moulding. Now I just need to trim off this edge one. So I'm going to get the first piece of uh, like metal casting that we get with the kit. I'm just going to offer that up. Just mark it and just trim that edge off. Okay, so we'll see now. Just trim that up. Okay, so yeah, that's going to fit. Okay, so I'm just going to not going to 100 percent attach this yet. As I said, I'm going to paint it off. And attach it when it's painted. I'm just going to drop a little, just a little touch, super glue on the back, just so it holds in place. Okay, so I've got like a, the figure of the man. That's got a, his hand's got to touch that. So, hopefully, like I said, I've not worked for any plans. I've just pretty much designed this off here. Just off a picture and just thinking, you know, hopefully this will look right. So let's take the little man off. I say, hopefully, his hands should just touch there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's not far off at all. Like I say, I'll just drop a little bit of super glue on the back of him, just hold him in place. Okay, the DLC, that trim is a little bit bigger than scale, but I think he's a bit small, I think it, but you know what I mean, it's just what came with the kit, so sometimes you just got to work what you work with. Okay, so see all the glue's drying and the excess planking, so now I'm just going to carry on, I did another mould into the bottom of the windows, I'm just going to glue it in exactly as I did that one. Okay, so I'll just repeat the process on the other, so on the other side, and then we'll carry on. <laughs> well, maybe not.
Okay, so I'll just put these edges in. I'll let off see all the glue dry and then we'll carry on. Okay, so the glue's dry in this section. I'm just gonna pull the pins out. Hopefully it wasn't drop off. I'm gonna pull the pins out. Okay, so now I've put the pins in. Obviously I'm gonna rest the top molding on these pins and also on top of these window edges. So that's gonna give me a nice nice curve. So I'm just running the bead of gorilla glue along the molding. As before, I'm leaving it over long. Really good these bent over nails it really helped to pin it back. Okay, so I'll leave that to dry a second, then we'll come and trim the ends off. Okay, so I think the glue dries on the last trim. I've just filled in the window dividers again. What I've been trying to pay attention with is obviously is it the old kind of running line from from obviously bottom to top. Not 100% perfect, because like I say you're kind of governed by these windows, but yeah, they don't look too bad at all. Okay, so while the, while the glue's drying, I'm just gonna carry on filling in this planking. And all I've done is I've added little spaces behind this just to help these edges that are really small and really brittle. I was going to plank this pretty much all the way to the top of the stern gallery. Okay, so while the glue's been trying, I've just added an extra six planks, and that's only uh, four mil by 0.5 mil. And I've pegged them all off, and obviously I've just reinforced the corners. Because what I can do now is obviously now I've added all this extra material on this end. Is actually I can this this texture shape, and the, which is obviously in each corner of the uh, gallery. It needed to be extended this way about five mil. So obviously now I've got this extra planking. I can extend the uh, the little corners. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry overnight and I'll come back tomorrow. Okay, so the glue's been drying overnight. I've just pulled out the pins and I've just trimmed off the ends exactly the same as I did with this set of windows. I've just slightly marked it with a tape line. I'm just gonna cut that off now. Just do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've trimmed these edges off and I've just started by uh, putting a natural curve at the top of the stern in. So I'm gonna do one see before I fill this section I just took a little template of the curve that was there before. But obviously it's been raised now, so I'm gonna have to try and add some kind of curve. Okay, so I'm just tracing a line, I'm just trying to make it equal so that it lines up either side.
like I say, I reinforced these planks so I could carve it out, but it's still quite brittle. It still could snap easy. first template once I'm going to cut this section quite bad the uh, reinforcement fell out so I've just glued another piece in and I'll leave that to dry and I'll see I'll just cut this one out then I'll come back and I'll sort of see I'll start to shape this better okay so after cutting this side with a knife and making hard work of it and obviously where I pulled all the reinforcement out I decided to use the, uh, the little Dremel tool or little drum sander on for this side and it lays now obviously even though there's a lot more mess it's just a lot easier and it really actually put a nice curve in these sections so obviously once this glue's dry I'll, uh, I'll do the same with this side but I'll record it so you can see Okay, so that's both the new curves put into each side. This side just needed a little bit of work because there was no reinforcement behind this one. Obviously this one had more material, so obviously the wheel couldn't take quite so much out. But obviously that's the non-issue. When I put the cap in on the top, I'll just slightly raise this one up just to bring it in line. So, okay, so I'm just gonna get this, this dextry part. I'm just going to temporarily super glue it in place like I did with the other parts. Okay, so I've just fitted the dextrin moulding, one of the most important parts we're going to get from Victory. I think it's slightly over scale, it looks massive compared to, to these, but like I said before, I suppose you want it to stand out. But obviously, if I wanted it to kind of match the picture that I'm working through, I'd have to have this stern section pretty much up here, and it's just, it's just getting too big. So, so okay, so obviously, all I really need to do next is obviously. I just need to add some more, like a little bit of decorative moulding around this section. Okay, so well that's it for this video. Obviously, uh, if you join me next week. Okay, so if you join me next time, I'm going to finish off this roof section of the uh, of the gallery that we did a couple of weeks back. Obviously, I couldn't finish at the time because, like I said, I needed to raise this stern section up. So obviously my plan is obviously is to bring it all, match it all in and I'll replank all this section and then we'll tie it all in with nice uh, cap moulding. Yeah, so hopefully that'll work out okay. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up.
and I'll see you all next time.